hey hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel this reflex image and in this video i'll be showing you how to change uh, the chair she's sitting on and also do a little bit of manipulation to the picture actually the reason why i'm just creating this video is just to change the chair alone but as you know i'm a manipulator so i would love to manipulate the background a little bit so here is how the picture is like before before anything here is what the picture look like a little bit overexposed the background there are blemishes there and stuff so we did clean it up and uh, we achieved this so i'll be showing you how to change the chair she's sitting on uh, you know when it comes to our work actually we do need to have chair in our studio but we can't act we can't actually have all the chairs we need so we have to work with the one we have so there's a way for you to manipulate that and actually change what your mother he or she is sitting on if you know how to do it so i'll be showing you a short video on how i do those that and i'll be giving you the chair i make use of in this practical video also so for you to do that we need to delete the chair she's sitting on first so we have to select around the chair and delete it out so i'll be using my polygonal exit to do that now so i'll trim over the area i want to crop out so I'll click on it and trim over it. I'll click over it. So I still want the air to be there. So I'll come down this way. But you can actually cut that off there. So let me trim over the air also. Okay, let's end the air this place. Let's end it here. So let's keep on trimming over until we need see what we need. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. there so make sure you crop the chair out perfectly so I can get what you need in the perfect way don't mind my cropping in this video I'm trying to speed up this process so that it won't bore you guys out actually i should have delete the picture the chair from the picture but i actually need to show you how to do that for some people do complete that i do skip some steps so i want to be including all the steps here but if you want to learn how i remove this background perfectly there is a video on that also i just dropped the video on how i do the background how i remove blemishes from the backgrounds and stuff so you can actually go there and watch the video there for you to learn from so let me keep on trimming this so I get to where it needs a key so I've actually trimmed out that area but there's a little space left here at the middle here which I also need to trim out so I have to crop it out also so we're done with the selection now so you can actually just click on delete or delete it but I don't like deleting any object I, I don't need again. I love maxing it in case I need it later on. I can easily go back and pick it out. You want to turn off everything right now. You can see right now we deleted our chair. So let me turn everything back on. As you can see right now, Ctrl D to deselect. So we can now bring in our our chair now so i'll just go to my file manager where it's located i will drag it into photoshop so it's already curving our model the reason is that it's on top of our model so i just have to drag it down to make sure it's below our model then i'll transform it until it fits the size i want it to be so let me increase the size a little bit i'll drag it to the location i want it to be 
increase the size so these are let me just say these are i want it to be let me adjust the size a little bit okay let's say this is how i want it to be but the issue we are having right now is it's showing as if she's sitting at the edge and she's supposed to be in within the chair so we are going to be cleaning up this area now so that the edge of the chair will be showing perfectly fine so for you to do that we are going to create a mark on our model create a mark on it make sure your brush color is on black pick the brush opacity at 100 percent and reduce the opacity of your model a little bit so that you can see what is below her so we just have to trim this up a little bit clean it up so that the chair will still be showing you can see so it just look as if she's sitting inside the chair not at the edge of the chair so if you have to turn off turn on turn on my opacity back to 100 percent right now as you can see which is there it's perfectly placed there so all we need to do now is just to work on our chair now this light we have over here we don't like the way it is so we are going to be reducing the brightness of the chair so firstly to do that click on ctrl m then drag it down to darken the chair a little bit then we are going to apply color on the chair also we're going to click this color here we want it to blend in with the background color we click on it click on ok so we'll create an empty new layer but before we start doing anything with the empty new layer we have to max it with our chair create the clipping max then increase the brush we are going to be making use of and the size we need this time around the opacity has to be below 50 let me use 25 i click on my ok so i'll paint over the area i want it to be which is here paint it over paint over it as you can see right now so it's going to darken the chair for us and make it blending with the background color a little bit so if the, if the color is too much you can just reduce the opacity a little bit but i, I love the color at the 100 percent so the next thing for you to do now is to create our shadow so i want the shadow to be shadow to be reflecting this side and our shadow has to be below our chair not above our chair so we are going to click be, the layer below our chair then we we'll click pick our normal empty layer so this time around make sure our brush color is on black uh, we can leave it at this 25 percent opacity then you drag over the area you want it to be here is how we want our shadow to be i want it to reflect at the back this way okay this is how i want it to be so we'll just go to my filter click on filter blur then click on gaussian blur once it loads up and i see what i need i'll click on ok if it's too much i just have to bring down my opacity i'll bring down my opacity a little bit and it's actually not looking all that perfect so i'll clean up this area where i don't want the shadow to be so i just have to create a max on it and note if this is on white your brush color has to be on black then i will increase my brush size 100 percent i reduce then i'll clean over the area i don't want it to be clean over the area i don't want it to be clean over it i don't want it here i don't want it here okay clean over here as you can see we've created our shadow so just reduce the opacity a little bit so we can actually just start bringing in the overlays we want to make use of you can export a picture like this it looks perfectly okay but you can just decide to bring in other stuff you want to add to it like this frame now you know i love using frames a lot in my picture so i have to drag into my photoshop i reduce the size reduce the size i'll reduce it then i'll place it okay let me place at the middle here i'll click on my ok just have to reduce the opacity a little bit so it's going to blend in with the background okay i'll bring in another thing i'll bring in this bookshelf also i'll drag it over here this time around it's going to be on the left hand side okay i want it around there i'll click ok just reduce the opacity a little bit 
so I'll click on my OK. So I'll go to file manager again, pick another thing I need. Okay, let me go with the other bookshelf. Let me go with this. So I'll just drag it into Photoshop again. I'll place it where I want it to be. Then I'll click on my OK. Still have to reduce the opacity a little bit. So so far so good. We've just done a simple manipulation. It doesn't have manipulation does does not have to be extreme every time. Uh, you can actually do a simple manipulation. So the last step is just for me to color grade everything together, which I'll be making use of one lot I usually use, which is my color, uh, my chocolate color. Just go to my adjustment layer, click on color lookup, then I'll click on my chocolate color. Automatically, it has color graded for us. So we've done a simple manipulation, changing of chair under 20 minutes. So that's all for today's tutorial guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn the notification icon, if you have any question you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you guys on my next tutorials, one